So, can I actually finally make a peach mead that I like? I have here our sourwood mead from the test of the three honeys. There's just a little bit left. Uh, the bottle's got like that much left in it. And I just used some of this to do uh, another video where we showed how to use a hydrometer. But I thought, you know what? We got some new stuff in. I want to try something. So this is straight sourwood mead. Let me take a taste. It's actually lightly chilled, so it's it's um, a little bit a little bit cold. The flavor is beautiful. It's a traditional, okay, very very simple, um, basic recipe. Um, just I think there was just nutrients in it, and that's about it. Other than honey, of course. I mean, without that, it's not even mead. It's thirteen point five percent. Moderately sweet, I believe this, yeah, this is 1.020, so it's actually a, a pretty sweet mead. Um, very, very nice. It's been aged for probably two months now, so yeah, it's pretty good. But, Derica found a pack of six different extracts from Olive Nation, and one of them was peach. <laughs> and it got me thinking, what if I could make a mead taste like a peach mead with just an extract? Something that I could like. Those of you that don't know why I'm saying this as Peach specifically is because Peach has been my nemesis ever since we started this channel. I have made a few Peach things, and in my history of brewing, before we had the channel, I tried Peach things, and I never really liked them. I don't know if it's that I don't like fermented Peach, or if they just didn't work out for me. I don't know, but people have been asking, so I'm going to try. I don't really know how much of this to put in, so I'm just going to do, like... A couple drops, because <laughs> I'm afraid. I don't know how much to use. I'm just going to use a chopstick stirrer. That's what chopsticks are for. You know that? When you're not using them to eat with, they're the best stirrers around. Okay, right off the bat, I smell peach in here. It's kind of like a, a fuzzy navel. Yeah, it kind of has that smell. Let's see what it tastes. Okay. I need to put in a little bit more before I make a determination. So that was like maybe six drops altogether. This glass, which is probably only like three ounces. So you need a pretty good amount. But my issue with fermented peach has always been it leaves this weird astringent taste that I don't like. It doesn't seem to age out very well. So first off, this smells like peach mead. Now I'm getting the honey character. I'm getting the peach beautifully through. It's almost like a very overripe peach smell. Not quite like the sickly rotting thing. It's just like a very ripe peach. And wow, the smell is fantastic right now. Keep in mind, if I was going to do this for real and keep this as something to bottle and drink, I'd probably leave it in the bottle or in a fermenter for a couple of months to meld together with the extract. By the way, if you were curious about this extract, for culinary use, it says right on it, it is water, alcohol, natural flavors, and ascorbic acid. That's it. Now, I looked up a little bit of Olive Nation stuff, and they tend to use like the peels of this and the peels of that to make these things. So this is about as good of an extract as I think you're going to find. Um, the price was pretty reasonable too. I think we got six of them for like 15 bucks on Amazon. I'll have a link to that below. Uh, and it's a large amount. It's um, four fluid ounces. I used barely anything to do this, but let's take a taste of this now. Okay. If someone handed me this and said, here, take a sip. I would know instantly that this was peach. I would recognize it instantly. I would also say it's a very good peach mead. This, as it is right now, is a peach mead. It's got a lovely peach flavor. It's not fake. It's not like syrupy. It, it didn't alter the mead. It altered the flavor and just combined with the honey beautifully. And you saw what I did. You got to like play with it a little bit. If I was to do this in a larger batch, I'd probably take a measurement. Like I do an exact amount and then measure how much I put in. That way I can scale that up for my full batch or bottle or whatever size container I might be using. But wow, this mead on its own, before I did anything to it, my opinion, I don't think we graded these. It's something like a seven 
I, I call this a pretty decent mead. The Sourwood was our favorite of the three when we did the test. We'll link to that video too. It was the favorite of the three, and it has a good sweetness to it. I don't know what this would be like in dry, because I know that's part of the problem that I've had in the past, is my peach meads have always been super dry. The sweetness of that honey with this extract really works. It takes this from a seven as just a standard mead to easily an eight, 8.5, without a doubt. Um, I'm probably gonna have Derica pop in and taste this just to see what she thinks real quick, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Oh, Derica. Here, we'll share the seat. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and that might, you want me to be mic Or should I just talk you to your chest? You can just talk to my chest. Hello. Derica doesn't have a microphone on, so I'm just gonna do like this. <laughs> you know, like they do in the really <laughs> bad movies. That's, that's not awkward at all. Yeah. All right, okay. so this is your peach mead? This is my peach mead. Ooh. It smells peachy. It does. That's pretty nice, isn't it? I'm shocked. I mean, we never really messed around with extracts much until very recently. And I just thought, I just want to share this with you guys, just how amazing it actually did for just a straight traditional. It definitely reads peach. It doesn't, yeah. it doesn't read anything It doesn't read artificial foreign. peach, though. It doesn't feel um, weird. It's too sweet for me. Yeah, well, this is the one point. Right, right. Yeah. Um, I like it. Yeah. <laughs> Brian's the sweet one. <laughs> Well, depends on the day. Someday she's the sweet one. But you would say, overall, definitely would, would try again, right? Yes, yes. Like, yeah, I would do that again. We have many other extracts, and we might have to put a video together of all of those and test them out, see how they do. But um, that's it for this one, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching, and have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs>